It's me, Stacy Eberschlag, again, going over our head turn animation. And in our last video, we went through and just sort of created a little bit of a head turn. This is just basically more about using the tools than actually the animation, because we're just trying to get you to understand things that you can do with the technology. So where we left off is we had our five keyframes on the timeline. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set a little bit of timing between them. Now, because we used our scaling toolbar to turn on and off, um, on and off the head groups, we have to be very careful about which frames we can in between two. And what I mean by that is I know that I used the, and let me go into our, timeline view, I can see that frame one and two are using this profile head. So I can add a bit of space and I can in between between that. And I'm just going to press this button to in between. And the hotkey would be command K to put in between again, command L to take it out, command K, I'm going to put it in. And we can see that this is actually okay to tween between. We don't get anything strange because I'm tweening between two different keyframes of the profile. Now, from the profile to the middle, I can't have any tweening. And let me just show you what I mean. If I move these apart and I tween that, we're going to have one head growing and one shrinking. And of course, we don't want that. But it, as in a pendulum, that's going to be the fastest part of the action between our profile to our quarter front to our front. We really only need two frames with no in between. So I'm going to just have this frame on twos. I'm going to have this frame on twos. And then I'm going to put this one in two frames later. And maybe I'll have a bit of tweening at the end because we can see that the end, this frame is the same as this group is the same as this group on this frame and on this frame. So I'm going to put a little bit of tween and we can see that that, that, that of course is working. So now we have something that looks like this. Now there's no, um, this is just basically timed out without eases. And in our next video, we're going to see how you can add eases to this project.